Do you love me? Now I ask that same person, do you love God or are you perpetrating for him? Both answers, amen. Both answers need to be yes. And you have to meet it because you can't do one without the other. You can't say you love that person sitting next to you and then don't love God. And you can't say you love God and don't love that person sitting next to you. I need to ask you another question. All right. Men, how many of you will be content to be married to a wife who's faithful, who cooks your meals, do your laundry, clean your house, but do you really love her? Come on now. Wives, I need to ask you a question. How many of you will be content to be married to a man who provides you with nice things, work faithfully, took you on nice trips, remained faithful to you, but did not truly love you. How many times I have heard the phrase, I love him or her, but I'm not in love with him. I need to ask you something else. Can I ask you a simple yet profound question? And it's a personal question. Do you love God? All right. Do you love God as much as you say you did when you first got saved? Come on. Right. You know, it's sad, but it's true. Mm. But people think of God, they, th they don't think of love. You know what they think of? Somebody, my sister, Sister Myers, what do they think of? <laughs> Some of them think of religion. Right. Others think of rules. That's right. Then you have the ones who think of rituals. Right. And you have them that say, they make assumptions. They say, well, you know, the Bible has a lot of things in it. And they're about rules. It has many things about religious activities and rituals. So that's what God must be interested in. Rules, religion, and rituals. But in reality, church, God wants to have a love relationship with you. That's right. He wanted to be serious and for you to experience it like you've never experienced anything before. That's right. Have you ever asked yourself the question? Have you ever wondered in your own mind, do I really love God? What does it mean to love God, church? To love God is to obey his commandments. Not some of them, but all of them. This is not a pick and choose game. It's an evil all of it or none of it. Amen. How can I truly know I love God? Or are you only giving verbal assessment to loving God? Am I treating people in a godly way? And even though they may be mistreating me, is that showing love for God? Jesus quoted Isaiah saying, it applies to the Jews of his days. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And he can speak the same words, church, of some of us today. Mm. Some of us are so far away from Jesus, we don't know whether we're going or we're coming. Yes. Is there an objective, variable way to know if we really love God? Or am I really giving him this lip service, not doing anything? And if you do love God, do you love him fully and you want to? We love more people than we love God. And we love them for all the wrong reasons. That's right. We love them because they look good. All right. Come on, church. You know how you come right. to right. right. look at somebody right. and you right. think you're out of heaven. You know, you ain't loving, you're lusting after them. All all right. Right. But if you want to know, these physical attractions can cause you to go straight to hell. That's right. I want to know, do you love God like you say you do? Yeah. Not only do you love God, church, I want to do you know, I want to know that when you fall in love with the sweet thing, did you love he or she like you said you would? Or was it a temporary fix? Mm. All right. Do you really love God? Amen. Ask yourself, do your make still look good the same way they did before they gained a little weight? Mm. Do they still look good when they take off that wig at night? Oh. Or even some of you men, when they take off their toothache or remove your teeth? <laughs> do you still love them like you say you do? Now you have to love them in spite of, not because of. You have to love them any way they look as they say they love God. But today, I want to tell you about a man named Jesus. He loves each and every one of us in spite of our flaws. He's not concerned with how we look or who you think you love. He wants to know, do you love him like you say you do? Because if you really love him like you say you do, you will only have eyes. 
people that one God have joined with. You will look around and see only the God in other people and not the man. That's right. To know him is to love him. So I ask, do you love him, church, like you say you do? If you say you love God in spite of everything you're going through, the good times and the bad times, you will still say, I love God. I want to know that you need to, I want to know, you need to start loving everyone like you say you love them. Even when your money starts to look funny and your bills are due, That's you're right. still ought to love God That's because right. he is a provider. Yes, he he is. is a healer. Yes, He's the yes. one that can bring you through nothing nobody else can. God is the one who will step in and make a way out of nowhere. Amen. You need to love someone who is the doctor. When that doctor walk out of that room and say there's nothing he can do, mm -hmm. you need to love that person who can make everything all right because it's not over until God says it's over. I heard a songwriter say, it's so good when you love somebody and somebody loves you back. Church is at 730 a 60 to 40 and 50-50. Right. But it. when you love God, it got to be a hundred. You got to love him with your mind, your body, and your soul. That's but there's another song that I like, and it said, falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I've ever done. That's right. In his own, I feel protected. That's right. Never disconnected. Not then right. there's one church uh, that I like. Another songwriter say. If love and you was wrong, come on, church. I don't want to be that. But I want you to know that this morning that you need to change the melody. That's you know it. I am a songbird, That's but you it. ought to say, huh, if love and God is wrong, I don't want to be right. If love and God is wrong, I don't want to be right. Because God will open doors that no man can close. He will close doors that no man can open. Do you love God this morning, church? Are you perpetrating for him? I'm so glad, church, that God does not love us like we love him, or we would be some messed up folks. I'm so glad this morning, church, he loves us in spite of our shortcomings. No matter how we messed up, he still loves us. In Romans 5 and 8, it tells us, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John 14 and 20, 21 and 24 tells us, whoever have my commandments and keep them. He it is who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Yes. Judas now asked the carol said to him, Lord, how is that you will manifest yourself to us and not the world? Jesus answered him and said, If anyone loves me, he will, he will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and he will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my word. And the word that you hear is not mine, but my Father. Church, we are to love God because he first loved us. Yes. How do we know that he loved us, church? Because he sent the very best That's right. That's He sent right. us his only begotten That's son. Right. I want to know, do you love him or you're perpetrating fraud? Right. It's not playing time, church. It's time for you to get it right. You yes. either love him or you don't. That's I want to know That's today, it. I'm going to love to tell you, that I'm going to love God even if I have to give up my family. You That's know, right. sometimes family will call you to lose right. your little bit of yes, 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 I'm going to yes, love yes, him yes. if I have to give up my family. You want to love God because he has been a mother and a father to yes, some yes. of you. He has been your shelter yes, in a time yes, of a storm. Yes, yes. He has been your bridge over yes, troubled yes. water. Yes. You want to love God, church, because he first loved you. God is your rock. He is your all in all. He will be your protector. He will be your doctor. He will be there when friends turn their back on you. Church, he is your omnipresent. He is better to us than we've been to ourselves. I want to know, do you love him? Why your members, do you love him? Members, do you love him? Ushers, do you love him? Children, do you love him? Stewards, do you love him? Trustees, do you love yes. him? Preachers, y'all ain't left up. I want to know, do y'all yes. love him? Because yes. you know what? We can get up and we can preach. But sometimes we don't have any meaning. I want to know, church, do you love him? When you come to church uh, on Sundays, uh, church member, Sunday ought to be like Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. You yes. ought to get all pumped up. Yes. You ought to get all hyped up. That's right. And you ought to get all so excited. Because yes. coming to church is the best place of the day. If you love him, church,
church. You ought to stand on your feet because somebody is in here this week. Somebody has told you something. If you love him, you ought to stand on your feet. If the Lord loves him, you ought to give him something. Even when you don't do right, church, God still loves us. Yes, he Even does. when you miss me, treat people, yes. he still loves us. When yes. family and friends walk away, church, he still loves yes. us. Even when we don't have any money in our pockets, he still loves us. Even when we talk about people, he still loves us. 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 Well, I take my seat, church. I want to tell you why I personally love my Lord. I love him because he is fresher than any seller anybody can ever meet. He is sweeter than any honeycomb. He is more feminine than you can imagine. He is more satisfying than a whole glass of water on a hot summer day. I want to ask the church, I want to know, do you love God or are you perpetrating a fraud? I said, do you love God or are you perpetrating a fraud? You ought to be able to tell everybody everywhere you go and not be ashamed. Right. I love God. I will serve him until I die. Church, God is the easy person yes. in the Lord. My husband always tell me, you think you know me, but you don't. But you know what? A lot of us think we know God, but we don't. Amen. We need to get to know God, and we need to have a relationship with yes. God. We need yes. to get to know God and stand up for him, because he stand up for us. Yes. When everybody else turn their back on you, when you go before that judge in the courthouse with a child, and you pray, you don't have to worry about it, because God loved that child in spite of, no matter what the last verse is, God has the last thing. Yes. Because you know what? God loves us. I want to ask you, Ebenezer, do you love God or your perpetrator from? Oh, if you love God, you ought to tell that person, I love God. I don't know about you, but in spite of everything, I'm a loving in season. I'm a loving out of season. I'm a loving from good times. I'm a loving from bad times. Yes. Ebenezer, I want to know, do you love God or your perpetrator from? Do you love him? Do you 